So, hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's a beautiful day over here, and uh, today we are going to be learning how to play Pela Chao, but a little differently. If you're a beginner, this is perfect for you, okay? Because I'm going to be showing you how to play the bass and strum technique. And also, this is dedicated to my beautiful student, Ruksar. Ruksar, how are you? Hope you're having a nice time there, okay? In Dubai. Okay, how's Dubai? Dubai is great? Okay. So Ruxar, also if you're looking at this video, so this is going to be a little different because we are going to be showing you how to play with the bass, the string and the strum, okay? So it's a march beat, okay? It's a one, two, three, four. So it's a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But over here, what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be playing one string, or the bass string, and then strumming, okay? So the bass string is going to be one, and the strum is going to be two. Okay, the next one is going to be three, and then again four. Okay, now when you are playing this particular beat, we are playing it with a chord A minor. Okay, so let's learn the chord first, A minor. Now the A minor over here is that as you place it on the second string, which is let me mention about the strings if you are a beginner. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. We we'll start from down and come up to six. Okay and it's of course it's on standard tuning and if you're a beginner if you don't have a guitar it's going to be pointless actually so go get a guitar if you want to know what's a guitar also like hit me in the comment i can recommend you some guitars okay so the a minor basically your first finger on the second string your second on the fourth string and your third finger on the third string okay and you play it over there it should sound like that that's your a minor so when you're playing this rhythm, basically it's gonna be the bass is gonna be a fifth string, five. I'm gonna say it five. So five strum. Okay, you strum it over here, and then you play the six. Six strum. Okay. Now when you're strumming this thing, the most important thing is the consistency in time. Okay. So how you keep time is by the counts. Okay. What I mean by that is you say one, two, three. So you're moving your hands according on the count, okay? So you can't do that, you can't do it otherwise. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Practice it so you can get your speed up in no time. So I would say like, practice this 10 minutes before you go on to the next chord, okay? So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this comes only with practice and that's what I am telling you. Uh, next one is going to be the A7 chord. If you're on your A minor chord, just move your third finger down on your second string. So simple. Okay, that's your A minor chord. Uh, did I say that? It's so simple. A7. Sorry about that. Okay, so uh, your picking strings are going to be, I would say, like five and then four. Okay. So the thing about this thing is that you don't have to be consistent about. You don't have. You can do a little bit of variations in your plucking of the strings. But I would say, like, you can do for A7, you can do five and four. Okay. So five strum, four strum, five strum, strum, five strum, four strum, five strum, four strum. Four, strum. I've done this in uh, a quick time because, like, I can play. Yeah, and you guys are learning, go slow and then go fast, okay? 10 minutes, guys, 10 minutes. Next one is gonna be E7. Also, remember your chords. So don't forget A minor, A7. It's gonna be E7, your first finger is on the third string, and your second is gonna be on the fifth string over here. So first fret and second fret. Okay, for this one, we're gonna be picking six, strum, five, strum, six, strum, five, strum, six. Five, six, five, six, five, six, five. Okay. So nice teaching, yeah. Okay, a little bit boring also, but like it's fun. Let's sit over here in front of the camera and show you guys this. D minor. So D minor is gonna be four strum, five strum, and the fingering. Sorry about that. Fingering is gonna be first string over here. First finger, then on the third string on the second fret, and then on the second string of the third fret. And then we go the same thing what I was showing you before. Four strum five strum four strum five strum four five 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 four five. Okay, let's stop. 
that and let's go on to learning the song. Okay, before learning the song, that's what you want to do. You just gonna learn the song without practicing the chords and changing them with the time of the counts. Okay. So what I mean by that is that when I'm changing from E minor to E7 or to A7, I'm changing it on one. Okay, so we have bars. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. On the one, we change it to the next chord. So we finish one bar, second bar, on the third bar, we're changing to A7, which is this. So with the bass strings, of course, bass strum. So one, two, three, four. doing it for the chords as well so pay attention so I'm changing from A, A7, D minor and then to E7 okay so here we go so one two three four 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 one Okay, now what's important for you to understand also is when I'm changing the chord, remember like which string to pick first, okay? As I've shown you earlier, for the A minor is going to be the fifth string first and then the sixth. For the A7 is going to be the fifth and the fourth. So your fifth is the one. The change I'm talking about. A minor is going to be the fourth and for E7 is going to be the fifth. And then, right? Hope you guys are paying attention because like this is uh, one more time. So three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, three, and Alright. Now, once you've got that in <clears throat> going with your system of playing, you're improving your hand movements and everything else, we are going to be learning the song. Okay? So Another thing what's important is that do this for 10 minutes guys please do it for 10 minutes if you're not doing it for 10 minutes for each chord and this practice also like do it for 10 minutes and then you should you should see yourself improving okay that's when you go on to learn the song okay? now this is the most easiest part because like all you have to do is like change it on the words of the song okay so here we go On chow, 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 chow. No matter, you change it to D minor. D now, mi son azato. I yo trovato l'invaso. No matter now, you go faster. getting this thing is that you have to practice according to the words okay so that's one way of practicing it very easily so I make it a bit easy for you to understand but of course practice many times so what I'm saying is that this first verse you can do is practice it for 10 minutes continuously till you get a hang of changing it on the words of the chords okay of the song now so I think that's almost like done with that thing. So like when you're going for the second verse, it's going to be the same thing, right? So uh, I'll try to put the word somewhere or you can always like check it out on the internet, Google or something. Let's try to figure that out. Okay. And uh, you can change it for the second verse exactly the same as the first verse. You'll change it on the words, okay? So you know the chords, you know, A minor, A7, D minor, E7, right? You know four chords over there today. You've learned four chords, you've learned the bass and strum technique. You learn how to play it with the song, okay? All you have to do is put them together, practice. That's the only thing I can tell you, practice, practice, practice. It's like a 10,000 hours at Sheet and Rule, right? That's what he said. He got his songs on really fast because like, he was playing it for 10,000 hours. After that, like, he got famous. Okay? So you guys can get famous. You guys can get this up to 10,000 hours also. 
All right. So signing off, guys. Call and dice. Don't forget to check out my original songs. I'll be putting up some more. So this channel is all about music and having a good time and making friends with you guys. You know? So if you're down and go, also like give me a call, give me a buzz. Like probably we can meet up for a nice chai. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. For the last time, I'll play the song and then we will sign off and you can go on with your happy lives. Me too, also like. Okay. So I love this song, I love to play this. When I play this, people love to dance. If you like dancing, dance. Uno matina, mi son alzato. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Uno matina, mi son alzato. Io tu fatto lima su. Oh, partigiano. Bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao Oh partigiano, portami via Ce mi sento di morire Mi sento muoio da partigiano Oh bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao Mi sento muoio da partigiano Ce mi sento sempre lì Signing off, Colin Dice. Bye-bye.